Hello guys, we are going to do another test with Alienware M18X with uh, having Onegin be Benchmark DirectX 11. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this second test is, little, is because the first test was with everything at maximum and the result was something around 750 points or something like that. Uh, many people ask me why the score was so low. Actually the score was not low at all because of the settings of the benchmark. So we are going to run once again this benchmark with standard settings and with standard settings I mean uh, anisotropic filtering on 4 and anti-aliasing on 2. Full screen 1920 for 1080 DirectX 11 with the shader set on high and let's see the score. Okay, so this should just make make clean that this this computer is a proper beast in the computing power. Okay, let's start. You can see the settings here. No, you can't. Now you can again. You can see the settings here, DirectX 11, shaders high, tessellation normal, anisotropic 4, anti-aliasing 2, it's full screen 1924-1080. So, let's give it a go. Let's close the curtains so we don't have contrast in the image. Oh, look at that, what a wonderful river view we have from here. And the pub! Hoo hoo! Okay, this should be it. We are waiting for uh, the benchmark to load. Ta -da -ta -da. Here we are. You can already see that it's very, very smooth. And now we are on uh, 37, 38, 39 frames per second incredibly smooth but let's let's run the proper benchmark benchmark and now let's see how it goes thirty eight frames per seconds almost stable between thirty six and thirty eight 52 frames per second. 51, 52. Uh, guys, 80 frames per second. Is it okay? We are now between 35 and 38. 47 frames per second. 45 stable. 54 frames per second. Incredibly powerful. The Anywhere M18X really is a best buy. Really it is. I remember you that we are running this test with the Dual 6970M in Crossfire with the Catalyst 11.5B. 40, 49, 50, 48, 50, 46, 43, 40, stable, 40, stable, 38, 39, stable, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 48, 49, 48, 42, 50, 48, 46, 45, 48, 50, 54, 35, almost stable, 35 always, 40, eh, 52, 41, 42, 
43 40 This is going to be more heavy 39 40 33 Sorry guys 36 60, 70, 92 81 62, 63 61, 64 61 frames between 61 and 64 68, 70, 50, 40 44, 41 39 39 40, 47, 49, 50, 51, 52, 55, 62, 65, 67, 49, 48, 45, 75, 70, 65, 60, 58, 72, 89, 90, 90 frames per second guys, 90. 58, 59, 60, 61, 60, 58, 47, 48, 49, 51. Okay, let's see the, the results. Okay, having benchmark 2.5, the FPS are 48.1. Is that enough, guys? The score is 1212. Uh, but I also got once 1,270 something. Uh, but the, there was a fresh install of the system. The minimum FPS have been uh, have been 23.7, and the maximum FPS have been 103, which well, it's a lot. Uh, you can see that we are running on uh, E7 2720QM. 2.2 overclocked by by factory default to 3.2 I think uh, and we have AMD Radeon HD 6900 M series so it's the 6970M in crossfire each card has 2 gigs of RAM so total amount of uh, video RAM is 4 gigs and the settings were of course DirectX 11 1920 for 1080 with 2 of anti-aliasing on full screen Shaders I, Textures I, Filter, Trilinear, Anisotropic 4, Occlusion, Refraction, Volumetric and Tessellation enabled. So, you can see that actually uh, I was right. The 750 something score that I posted on the video last time was just because of the really incredibly high settings that I, I just decided to use for that, for that benchmark. This benchmark gives a good uh, representation of how a game will uh, will run with this kind of graphic settings and these graphic cards. Okay, so thanks so much, guys, and uh, see you next time. See you, benchmark. Yeah.